Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to add buttons to your Moodle site. But first of all, why would we want to do this? Well, historically learning management systems have been used to administer learning and they've been used as a kind of repository for putting in content. Uh, but we want to move away from that and start to think of these systems as an asynchronous learning environment that our students can engage with between our live face-to-face um, -face sessions. So to encourage that engagement um, in the asynchronous space, we have to start thinking about the user experience um, in these Moodle sites. So one thing we can do, we can add video content, we can start to make it look a little bit more attractive. Many organizations use um, preset templates so that at least students are getting a consistent experience. Our organization, for example, is using this concertina um, template. But then when you drop a little bit further into this, what you get sometimes is a lot of information that the student has to keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling through. And that's not the user experience that we're familiar with when we navigate the internet generally. So what we're looking at today is how can we add buttons like this that do a number of things. One, they help the student to navigate the content. They help us to structure our content more effectively. And overall, um, the aim is that they improve the user experience for the learner. And if we click on one of these buttons, for example, it takes us to a new page where, again, the content is, is structured. So imagine all of this content would have previously been on the landing page here. So we get to remove all of this uh, and segment it up. So how do we do this? Well, the first step is to create the buttons. And I created these buttons in Adobe Illustrator. Now, unfortunately, not everybody has access to the Adobe suite. So for this video, I wanted to introduce a software that is free and a process that everybody can follow. So I'm gonna suggest Canva as the software to create your buttons. Now, Canva, um, if you have an educator account, um, you get access to everything, templates um, that you can adjust. If you haven't got an educator account, um, there is another video that will talk you through this process, but it's really worthwhile um, signing up for. If you're not a graphic designer and you're using any kind of, using or creating any kind of digital content, then Canva is the place to be. And you can see, you know, historically I've used it for many different things, mainly, um, thumbnails for um, videos but also for posters but today we're looking at creating buttons so I'm gonna search to see if there's any template uh, for buttons now this is not really what I was thinking about but I did go through um, a number of um, these templates and I found something that I thought was useful and it is where is it? It's this. So this is not exactly what I want, um, but I can I can adjust it into what I would like. So first of all, I'm just going to make the canvas size a bit smaller. Okay, and I can make this image a bit bigger. So how do you want your button is the first consideration. Maybe you just actually want, um, if I lock that, maybe you just want your button this size. Uh, or maybe you want to have a description here as well. Um, I, think, I think for this tutorial, I'm just gonna go with this small button. So that means I delete the background stuff. Okay, so now I've just got this. This is my whole button. 
quite happy with that actually. I'm going to make it fill the canvas size. Okay. Um, just for the example, I'm just going to say click here for, I don't know, X, Y, Z. So this is where you make the, the text specific to the content that it will be leading to. Making it smaller. It's really intuitive software, very nice to use. Okay. Not a huge fan of pink, so let me just change that. Okay. Maybe a little bit darker. Okay. Um, and I have some kind of um, choice over the font. So the key here is that you change your text to whatever content you're linking to. And then once I'm happy, I can download. And the key thing to press is transparent background. So we don't want any of this white um, in our button. We just want it to be uh, limited to this colored area. And it's PNG, okay? And it's giving me the size here. I can increase or decrease the size, but this is, this is okay for me. So I'm going to download that button and it's just downloading there. Okay, so I have my first button. Now I can go back to my site and if I um, change away from student mode and edit on, now I can add my button. Where shall I put it? Okay, I'm going to add it um, onto this uh, existing page. Um, so I go to the bottom, add. I'm going to add a label. And the label is going to be uh, an image. So I'm going to browse and upload that button that I've just created. Okay. Upload. Okay, I'm quite happy with the size there. I'm just gonna say this is a, it's decorative only, so I don't need to put a description there. Okay, now I have my button. That's step one. Well, that's step two actually. Step one is create the button. Step two is to upload it into um, Moodle. Now, we have to link it to some content. So for now, I'm just going to save this. Let's take a look where it is. Okay, there it is. But if I click, nothing happens. Okay. Okay, so if I come down here, this is where my content sits. So these are all the pages that I've created that are hidden. So I'm just going to create a new page. I'm going to call it test and, and I can put anything in here. We can put videos, we can put, um, you know, content. We can use the, what's quite useful is if we use the uh, HTML function, we can embed padlets in there. Anyway, everything within this page is a, is, is a component of your, um, your course. And if I save and return, Okay, so I have this test page now. If I click on there, and I want to copy this URL, Control and C, and go back, and I want to edit my button. Now I'm gonna click on this image, and I'm gonna link it. And we'll link it to that URL that I've just copied. Okay, so it's going to take me to that page and I want to open a new window. Again, just for um, good navigation, we don't want to take students down the rabbit hole without giving them a way back out. So open a new window. If they click on it, they don't like it, they can just close the tab and create that link. Okay, so if I save and return, 
what happens now the student comes down clicks on the button and it takes them to the page that I intended once they finish with that page they can close it off and come back to the home page okay the only thing that I need to adjust on here is make it not um, visible to students but also available so I do that by making it available but not shown on the site page so that when I go back to the student um, view okay and scroll down there's my button there's nothing here but then when I click on it it's going to take me to the page that I intended okay so it's as straightforward as that there's a lot of steps in there but um, it is pretty straightforward once you start creating these buttons and it does give you an extra an extra layer of depth um, to the content on your course so I hope this video is useful um, thank you very much for watching